Right there. A little more this way. Say what? I like that face. All right, relax. <laughs> I like that face. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> Good. So, start here. We're doing both sides. Pick up. Deadlifts. Whole bunch of deadlifts. However many we want to do. Then we come over here. Keg toss. Throwing that back and forth to each other. Then we go over here. He's gonna hop on. I'm gonna carry him. Switch, he carries me back. Then we go the G-Wagon push. Into the sunset. Saying, hit some chest, hit whatever else. I even fuck around with some strongman shit. Um, I don't know what else you had in mind. I wanna, I wanna see you hit 200s. Some two fuck. At least 180s. I can hit some 180s. I can hit some 180s. Hey, you're I in think. Texas. I'm in Texas. The air is thicker, which means <laughs> my muscles are thicker here. Everything's <laughs> bigger in Texas. Everything. Is this where you're from though? You're from Texas? Huh? You're from Yeah, here? I'm from uh, Richardson. Oh, okay. Yeah, I grew up in uh, Richardson, Addison. Where did you graduate? Uh, high school. I went to Richardson High School, but yeah. I, I left my senior year um, to up north. So young, man. Say what? So young. What you mean? Man, I can't, uh, eat, I can't even eat pizza you'll see, anymore. You'll see when you're 37. <laughs> 37, you'll see. man? You're gonna be envious of you everyone. from here? Yeah, I grew up in Grapevine. Grapevine? Mm. Grapevine. Oh. Uh, 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 I 
work out with people, I warm up with like 70s, 80s. They're like, oh, great. You warm it up with hundreds. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder if I got my lacrosse ball. I need my lacrosse ball. First set felt bad, the second set felt good. I need my lacrosse. Lacrosse ball. How many did you do? Eight, I mean. Keeping your reps lower? Yeah, I always keep my reps low. <laughs> oh, the other 200's over here. I got a vibe today, I got a vibe. I got a, you got a vibe you today? You haven't done those yet? Huh? You haven't done those yet? 200? No, I, I tried it and I just couldn't. I mean, you did, it, you did, you did. Like completely raw, did you have elbow and wrist straps? Nah, I didn't, I don't, I don't use elbows or wrist straps. I got some extra straps. Yeah. These elbows, I'd be honored if you killed that today. I mean, if I got 170s for one, I'd be happy. 170s for one? Let's go. What you waiting on? That would be, that would be, uh, shit, I'm warmed up. Let's go. You warmed up? Oh, you trying to go now? I want it quick. It's hot in Texas. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> You want it now? You don't even want to go to the one thirties real quick, you know? Maybe one, maybe one, maybe one, one or two. Yeah, my my rep range was always ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen. But this year in January, I went back to just high of ten only. Like maybe I'll do one one a week of a, a burnout of twenty. Yeah. But everything's been ten reps or less. Ten reps or I less. Love it. Yeah. I feel like I can give everything my all if it's like ten reps or less. Yeah. After that, it's just like fuck. I don't really know if I'm using enough weight or I just get bored. Yeah. I rip it so much, I'm just bored. I'm like, all right, fuck this. Yeah. I, like, I, like I like the whole pump thing, but for raw strength, I just feel better, man. I, overall, like, I feel like 10 is a magic number for everyone. Like, okay. every, everyone always asks, it's like, what reps, what reps? I think 10 is a magic number. I mean, we do them all, right? But yeah, 10 is like that good. Yeah. He said he wants some 170s today. Come on. <sighs> Okay. I'm not gonna take that jump like that. I'm just gonna go 100, 130. I jumped to 160 now. You know what, these ones don't seem as crazy as the ones at No Limit. It looks like plates were put on and glued on. Those looking ones. Hit that mark, mate. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm feeling kind of good today. We out here. We out here. Joe's hit some. He's hit some heavy ass weight with me. Last time I was here with John and Rosari. Yeah, John hit, hit me up. John hit some. He's hit some heavy ass weight with me. He's starting to get stronger again. Yeah. Is he still vegan? I think so. <laughs> John and his flat earth vegan self. <laughs> he's a hippie. All my OG friends are going. Super third eye open. Bob Marley. Lupe, I'm talking to you too. Huh? Mr. Flat Earth. Yeah, maybe I should start 160. 160? I mean, I haven't done 170s. If you get these easy, we're going, we're going to put you at 170. Yeah. But I got you. Let's go. Big goals, big weights, big workout partners. Let's get it. Oh, we about the to get these 170s, is... right? I'm, I'm gonna try 170s, <laughs> but he's gotta try the 200s today. All right, 200s. So just wait. You need lift off? Yeah. Elbows? Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. And up. Oh. That's all you. Come on, come on, come on. E, E, E. Get it up. Get it up. I ain't touching it. There we go. Get it up! We're gonna help. Come on! Come on! Oh. 
Nice. All right, I would take like five minutes. I'll take it. We can still go. We can still go one for the 170s. We can still go one for the 170s. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, you, I know you. Go, I know you gonna try. I'm not gonna not try it. I, mean, I know you gonna try. I always get so damn disappointed though. Why? You're ten pounds because away. Because my then on top mind of that, what? always thinks, not just in the weights, but my mind is always thinking bigger, badder, better at everything. Everything. It doesn't matter the car, the house, whatever. I always want to improve. Right. And people were like, oh, well, you should be happy with what you got. And I'm happy yeah, with what no. I got. I feel you. I'm gonna it doesn't it. mean I'm not always disappointed when I wanted to hit those three times. You know, I hit them twice with a little bit of help. It's just, it's just my mindset. I'm always wanting to improve. So, you know, when I look at guys like you, I'm like, okay, he could do 170s easy. I want to do 170s easy. You know what I'm saying? So that's just, that's just the way I push myself. True. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, it. it doesn't have anything to do with you. It's just, I Personally. know I'm capable of it. If I eat right and I train right and I continue, even at 37, I know I can train and do what Teron's doing at 27, 26, you know? Yeah. So I if, if I don't have a mentality, what the fuck am I gonna do? Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, what, what else is a mentality? Right. That, right. That's just who I am, you know? I feel that. I, I, I feel like I'm the same way. I feel like I'm the exact same way. You know, like I finished third Olympia, third Olympia, fifth Olympia, seventh Olympia, whatever. You know, all, all those people who tell you, you should be happy with that. What? No. Yeah, no. I was this close to being the top. Yeah. Why should I be happy? Especially that close. It's just like, but I mean. It's just my perspective is still do better. Right. You know, never content. I know, you know, hell, you can even be first place and still not be happy with how you look. <laughs> and, because you're looking at next year. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think Phil. You got a top. Think... You got a top lag. Yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah. All right. We're going 180s. I need a tune for this. Rage against the machines again, man. You already know. Killing in the name. Killing in the name of Bulls on Parade. Oh, this is easy. It's done. It's done right it's here. It's done right here. Ah. Ah. Hey, go. Uh, let, me, go. let me say that. Let me say that. We done. We out here. Yeah. I'm good. I'm feeling Two good Hunskies. today. Two Hunskies coming. Two Hunnies is coming. Let's go. I had to put it on pause before the beat dropped. <laughs> the beat didn't even drop. The beat huh? didn't even drop yet. <laughs> Once I had it in the lap, I just went on and went. That's like some Ronnie Coleman weight, bro. That's. <laughs> They got some you know dudes doing hey, like hey, if I hit this, it's because of the Whataburger and Raisin Cane. Every time I come to Texas and I go back to New York or LA, I'm like hella strong from all the shit I've been eating. And that's when I usually like make the best content. Yeah. I'm probably actually now eating the calories I'm supposed to eat daily. It, it took me to age like 35 to realize how much I could eat. <laughs> like it, to, to actually eat from my metabolism and not just eat what you know, what everyone else was eating. Mm -hmm. Like I thought I, I was eating what everyone else was eating and then I added some more calories. Man, the last time I bulked, I was doing 5,000 calories a day with a six pack. And that's, that's like off season. Walk lifting, around. Yeah, just no cardio, lifting heavy. So I was like, man, I under ate all through my twenties. I feel like I under eat every day, every day. Like I eat like, I probably eat two meals a day. Yeah. It's, and that's like just two tough. big meals. It's tough. It's tough to, to eat and to force yourself to eat. It's a you good force problem to have. Now? Or you slow, it's just like normal. Nah, now I'm cutting. You left that whole I gotta LA. get these at least one. Just my old PR. When last time you hit dumbbells? Uh, we, man, four, like four weeks ago. Four weeks ago? We okay. took it out. I didn't want to, but my trainer took it out of my program. Yeah. <sighs> you got it? <sighs> All right. Go. Let's get it. Zone out. Up. All right, come on, fight. Control. Force. Get it up. Come on. That's it. Damn it. Good. I ain't ready yet. You're good. Fuck. You're good. That was, I think. That was a hell of controlled descent. I feel like you wasted a lot of energy. We're just bringing I it down. Water burger and raising cane. You can water, water burger. <laughs> I count carbs. Everything else now. This 
is exactly what I do. I gotta count my every single meal, so I just focus on one meal at a time because I gotta count my carbs to dose my insulin. So that's why I'm eating all these gummies because my blood sugar is crashing. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sitting here counting all these gummies. I mean, I've had 60 grams of carbs since we got here just to get my blood sugar up. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to keep count like that for the whole day unless you write it down. For this shot, I'm gonna change. <laughs> that's my goal right there. One day. Like, had you got that smoother, you probably would've got two. Like, I felt like I had an energy for two. I was like, oh shit, I think I got good enough for two, but I mean. Hey, just in case y'all wanted, y'all gotta see. Look. That's 200. That's 200. Hey, we gotta do the drop test, the drop test. That's 200. <laughs> Find somebody to drop it on and they can <laughs> say it's 200 also. Oh shit. Damn, I can't believe you got that shit. 228, lifting 400 pounds and dumbbells. <laughs> just another day. Just another day. Two weeks. I said two weeks. Yeah, it's been two weeks. I said two weeks, right? It's been two weeks. All right. Mission accomplished. Because the motivation, this man right here. Because I wasn't going to plan on doing this shit here. But he was like, hey, I want to see you do 200. I was like, fuck. If you right. will it, you can't achieve it. <laughs> we willed it. I said, you will hit 200s. It's all in the mind. This dude. I psych myself out though. I do be psyching myself out. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Especially when I'm like benching. Yeah. Always, always psych myself out when I'm benching. Yeah. Like, one, like once, once I, like especially when I'm doing 500, once I hear that five, it's just like fuck. And I think about dying. So you don't get nervous? I get nervous all the time. Okay. Yeah. I get yeah. nervous too. And I, and I try always... to get myself out of it. And it's just, and I'll be like, okay. I'm like, you know, okay, whatever. I'm sure, I'm sure a, lot of, a lot of dudes are happy to hear that because like, I get nervous and I never really want to admit that, but hearing that you, someone who's crazy strong, you know, yeah, I've been lifting 20 years myself too, but I still get nervous before a heavy lift. So I think that's something that people need to understand. It's like, hey, there's nothing wrong with being nervous. No, not at all. Everyone gets nervous. That's for a fact. You know? For a fact. I mean, I mean, it's just like, to me, like a heavy lift is, you know, mentally for me, it's almost like, you know, when you get on stage or something, yeah. And you're just, just kind of yeah. get you giving everything your all. It's just we have two different stages, and even though you you actually sit on the same stage, um, as far as like strength stuff, being nervous, it's, uh, nervousness is, is a good thing. It means you care. Yeah. yeah. It means you care. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yo, it's do or die. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm most nervous about right now? They don't have any heavier dumbbells for you. Anymore. <laughs> They don't have any dumbbells Well, people do. They uh, they throw the dumbbells on top and hold it. Do some 250s. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't trust that shit, though. You want to move to another exercise? You want to do, like, a couple sets uh, of... They got some cool bars over here. Uh, I was supposed to do floor presses also. Yeah. Do you I mess know. with those? Yeah, I haven't done them in a while, but I like those. Yeah. Yeah, I like my elbows to touch, though. Okay. The ground. Yeah. With dumbbells or, or barbell? Barbell. Barbell? No, not, not dumbbells. We already oh. did dumbbell. I haven't done those in forever. I've always done floor presses with, with dumbbell. Really? Floor presses aren't too common in the bodybuilding world, you know? True. I understand that. I'm a terrible bencher. I had a, a fear of getting injured, man. When I, over, I but, but Barbells over dumbbells? Really? Yeah. I saw so many people get their their pec teared and shoulder injuries. That's why I do floor presses a lot because I don't I don't get that yeah. stretch you usually get when you're on a regular yeah. bench. So it was just I just I, I started benching this year for the first time in years. Damn. And um, so now I'm doing you know nothing under three reps, nothing under six reps usually, but I'll do like three fifteen for five. Three fifteen for five is good. Four. Three, it's I don't good. know. Good. You say that like like three fifteen is like yeah, okay no three fifteen is good, especially for somebody who doesn't like barbell bench all the time. I've noticed my like shoulders getting bigger, my my chest getting bigger. 
because I didn't do it because I didn't think it was going to help my chest development all those years. That's how I be feeling about uh, dumbbells sometimes. <laughs> I'll just warm it up with eight reps. Ah, oh, sick. That forearm tattoo is dope. So you got it in Brazil? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I got this like before everyone was doing this, the dot stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it, and it was their idea. I didn't even see it on Instagram. Now everyone's got the dot patterns and stuff. I can't find anyone in the states. No, I can't find anyone I like. But... <laughs> um, you ever been to Japan? I want to go to Kyoto, Osaka. I'm like, fuck. I want, to, I want to be out there for like two weeks. They say, they say you got to go out there for two weeks. Yeah. One week's not enough. Yeah. Keep it explosive. Come on. Nice man, to nice to meet you as well, Dude, bro. I, fu I fucking love all your shit. I appreciate crazy, it, man. man. Oh. Are, you, are you from here? I'm from Dallas, yeah. I'm oh, from yeah. Richardson. Richardson? Mm -hmm. Damn, bro. I'm from, you know where Parker is? Parker? It's like, I mean, that's cool as fuck you're from here. Though. I didn't know that. Yeah, bro. I mean, I was born and raised. I didn't oh, leave yeah. until like 2013. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love all the shit you I appreciate that, it's, man. It's so cool. Thank you for oh, saying man. something, too, man. You better, you better kill it today with workouts because I'm here. You know? Nice and easy. Get it up. It ain't going. Woo. That shit. <laughs> you had that. I don't know, man. It didn't feel right? It feels like weird on my elbows. You want to try to go out a little wider? Okay. What's, your, what's your normal grip? Because it looked like you were gripping close as me. I always, whatever I can do to keep my elbows tucked. Mm. So if my elbows start to flare out, then I feel like I'm too wide. And I used to go wider. But that's why my, my shoulders and my, my, my elbows always feel funny. So this is my first time trying these mm. uh, with a barbell. You got this. I'm gonna try Come a little on. wider. Still stay tight, stay tight. All you. Explode it up, boom. Easy. <laughs> Three. Yeah, you could definitely get 315. How'd that one feel? Was it Wide, wider feels more comfortable for sure. The closer, the more um, time it takes for your elbows to hit the ground. Oh, four or five? Yeah. Damn. I'm, not, I'm probably gonna need a lift off. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. Yeah. Up, two, uh, up, three, uh, up. One more. It's insane. <laughs> I do these because it, like, it's funny because you said it, it kind of, you felt weird, shoulders and stuff area. And I do these because it helps me from, from like, yeah. when I have pains and stuff. Yeah. In a way. I'm like a rookie all over again. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I haven't done floor presses. But I can see what you're talking about, how you said it got your bench press better. I feel like I'm so, my front delt was real tight. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to explain it, but basically I feel like it's preparing me for bench press better. I'm Especially that explosive uh, top half it. of the movement. Boom, boom, yeah. That's all I like about it. Let's go, explosive. Push that shit. Drive, there we go. <laughs> nice. I might have a new favorite. <laughs> I like these. Hell, I like putting up like heavy weight on this more than I do regular bench, yeah. to be honest. Because just the that fact that you just let set. it just sit there and just going a little wider was better. Yeah. yeah. All 
All right, YouTube, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. How you feeling right now? Are we done or is that just done? I mean, I, honestly, I'm going to be totally honest. I can still go. Yeah. You know? That's, that's, that's what I like about you. <laughs> you mean, you know? You can hit some, uh... <laughs> Actually, you can hit some back. All right, thanks for the video. Wait, I was joking, bro. Just some PRs. Get some PRs, you know what I'm saying? Something new with the floor presses. Kind of liking it after you kind of got yeah. used to it. You know what I I'm haven't saying? done a barbell floor press. Like, as simple as that is, I've always done dumbbell floor press. I mean, you say so, as simple as that is, but like, people don't... Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. I don't see a lot of people doing that. And as someone who needs, not necessarily needs, but I want to get my bench up because it's, I've never really focused on bench press. Um, so now that I'm focused on it, I'm definitely going to implement that into my program for sure. I'm definitely going to implement more yoga in my program. I mean, that's what's better for growth. So there's 200, we need to do more dumbbells. 200? No, no, but I'm saying, but like, when I'm, I'm talking about aesthetic wise, bro. I'm not, I, don't, I don't pay attention to that aesthetic wise stuff enough like I used to. Uh, it's just kind of like, I do my athletic stuff, I do my strength stuff. I don't do as much athletic stuff as I should, because I need to. Uh, and I just kind of, I hear from my body. But I want to take it a step more serious. Yeah. You're in aesthetic, you're in aesthetic state. So next workout is in your home state now. I Mr. Mean, home state, but I'm saying next workout's in Cali. Yeah, but it's, it's the beach. I need a vacation. I'm just saying I'm going to use you to take a vacation. That's, what I'm <laughs> That's a bet. Come out here, man. Uh, that's cool. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely get up out there. Uh, nothing like Texas, but that's, that's the problem. Uh, every time I come back, there's no gyms like a Texas gym. Man. Even in L.A., you would think like L.A. got their gym shit together, but not really. I, I have to go to like other gyms for certain things. Yeah. This, gym has, this gym has everything. This gym has everything. People don't bother you. They'll look at you funny. Shirt on, shirt off, full coat, whatever you're wearing. Like people are here at this gym at destination, everyone just kind of accepts you for what you're doing. What you're doing. Yeah. I'm looking right now. There's like powerlifters over here, physique dudes, bikini girls, bodybuilders, and the hybrid do it all guy. You got all sorts of people here. Hey, Texas, where you want me? Text check this out. Make sure you check out the YouTube channel. Uh, you're gonna get consistent, right? <laughs> One of my YouTube is is I'll go hard for like four or five months out of the year, and then I have babies. So, but we're about to put the babies back on the YouTube. We're gonna put the babies in the YouTube, and there's gonna be baby weights, all right? Baby weight lifting, and uh, shit. You know babies are contagious, right? <laughs> I'm about to go to church, get washed. <laughs> so I'm not contagious anymore. We got about four good more years before that happens. And then, uh, damn. Then I'm going to grab me a G Wagon. It's good. Anything you want to say? Man, just glad we got this workout in. For, for, the, for the beginning, when we started with how you feeling, I'm feeling tired now. I think this dude's got my blood sugar low. So, I'm time for me to go eat, man. I don't got much more to say. Some raisin canes? Yeah. Raisin canes? Some calories. Jeff, you don't want no raisin canes. He's like, yeah, you want Sonic. I'm with it. Sonic. I'd rather have raisin canes. I feel like raisin canes is better quality food. Nah. That's a good thing after these workouts. We can eat some dense calories. We can eat whatever. So we gotta refuel. After dense calories my whole life. <laughs> We out, man. Catch you guys later. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the channel. Peace. And I'll to a fucking wall. <laughs>when I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.